Let's dig into my big ass collection of uh, retro science fiction and look at some illustrations. Today I've got this collection here. These look to be from about the uh, late 50s, early 60s. And a lot of these where they have the two stories per book don't really have many illustrations inside. So I've grabbed, this is how they were in the box. Uh, so I've grabbed this chunk and we're just going to check out probably mostly just the covers. Because um, like I said, there, there won't be much inside. So let's check them out. All right, we have, starting first here, this one's in a bit of rough shape. We have um, Earthmen Go Home and to the Tomball Station. Earthmen Go Home. Looks like we've got some hairless uh, skirt wearing folks attacking a flying car. That's by Paul Anderson. I don't know if they have the illustrator's name in, in these. You have to be very careful. They're super brittle. So we have copyrights for the author, but I don't see an illustrator's credit here before the story starts, unfortunately. So let's look at the other side. And this one is split already, whoever was reading it. Uh, split it I guess. Although luckily it split right in between the two stories. So let's flip it over here and look to the Tomba station. I've seen this picture on the internet before. This person seems to be hauling another person through space. I love the old bubble design on these spacesuits and that's pretty stylish but you'll notice they have bare skin uh, in space. So, uh, oh, let's check the dates. Let's see when this was made. Copyright 1960. Ace Books. Sounds about right. Was his spaceship haunted or only booby trapped? That's fantastic. All right, next book we have. Space Hive, nice military grease uh, display here. Supersonic jet looking thing. A thrilling novel of the first men in orbit, Space Hive by Jeff Sutton. Likely in the 60s as well. Copyright 1960. Again, no illustrator credit for the uh, for the cover. Maybe I'm just missing it. Usually it's right inside the first page or two. Let's see if there's any illustrations in this. None that I see. All right, let's check out the next one. The Greatest Adventure by John Tane. A great novel of evolution gone wild. Here we have some vicious looking uh, giant, what, what were they called, sauropods? The massive dinosaurs with long necks, something like that. Complete and unabridged. 35 cents. They found a lost world of weird monsters. Interesting. Probably again a 1960 or around that time. Copyright 1929. So it was probably written earlier. I can't imagine this is published. I mean, this is obviously not published 1929. So this is a republish of an old story by John Tain. No illustrations there. That's great though. You have your typical damsel in distress, some uh, pterodons back here, and some nasty biteys up there. Look at the size of that head compared to that guy. Nice. And last here we have, oh I love this cover. 
Sanctuary in the Sky. Who ruled the neutral world? Oh, that's not a period, that's a star. Who ruled the neutral world? By John Bruner. Look at that ship. That is fantastic. And that cityscape back there. Typical damsel in distress. Got a ray gun. Wonderful antenna on the helmet. That is fantastic. And on the opposite side, the secret Martians. That is great. Again, nice big bubble helmets and bare skin in space. Walking over a bridge, over some lava. That's fantastic. Now, if you haven't seen these before, uh, you'll notice that the text turns over halfway through the book. So when you're supposed to look at the other one, so you flip it over. That's probably my favorite illustration out of this bunch. That is so fantastic. Look at those shoulders, the, the big shoulder pads. Pretty cool stuff. So there you are. That's the science fiction, uh, science fiction illustrations for today. And again, this is probably my favorite right here. If you want to see some high definition scans of these, check below for a link. And I will share those. I'll scan all these and share those. And I'll see you next time.